Hi Pisces, welcome to your weekly reading for January 22nd through the 28th. I'm going to be taking a look at your immediate past, present, and future. I will be clarifying each card so energies can change as I clarify. I will also be pulling advice and the outcome for you in your reading. And I will be also getting an oracle message from the Mind Info Oracle deck to give us some more insight, guidance, and clarification on your situation. Now, this is general and it may not resonate for everyone. If it does, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel so you never miss an upcoming read. Please remember that time is fluid, so this could be something that happened in your past, currently in your present, or coming up in your future. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump right in. Show me Pisces for January 22nd through the 28th. All right. Okay, Pisces, let's see what's going on for you. Make sure you can see everything. So in your immediate past, we have the hermit that comes out. So what you're leaving is maybe a state of being alone, time to reflect, meditate, and just kind of, you know, rediscover who you are or going through some eye-opening experiences, some soul searching here. And moving forward, you feel more of like knowing your sense of direction. Like I know who I am more than I did yesterday or the day before, whatever. Or you know what you want more in life. And I like where things are progressing because in your current situation, we do have the chariot that comes out. So things are happening really fast for you. Some of you are traveling, going places, seeing, you know, sightseeing, or maybe, you know, traveling to a new place and moving somewhere new here, um, or things just happening fast for you. We'll take a look and see what that is when I clarify here. Um, but also having that sense of, I know, um, where my journey is taking me because I've had time to think about it and I'm excited. And so you kind of have a plan, but at the same time, you're letting things, you're like going with the flow. Like if it's meant to happen, it's supposed to happen. And I like that. I really do. Now in the immediate future, I like this because we do have these six of swords coming out. Maybe like I said, some of you going on a trip or whatever, but there is this moving on, moving forward. And I'm like, everything is progressing forward. And I like that. It's a really beautiful thing. Um, it feels like finding who you are, rediscovering who you are, something new about yourself. Your advice that comes out is the queen of cups, like trust who you are, know who you are. Um, always go at things with love. You know, the queen of cups loves hard and expresses, um, her authentic self and she loves, um, you know, genuinely. So I like that. We're going to clarify and see what the deeper message is in that advice here in just a second. And then your outcome for if everything's continue on the path that they are on right now is the fool. So a fresh new start, new beginning here, um, taking a risk chance. Like I'm excited, Pisces. We have to see what's going on. Um, let's start with the hermit for your immediate past here. All right. Some of you, this was a relationship that you spent, um, keeping alone and private because it was of the same gender and that's what you wanted. Um, some of you decided to move on from that. Like it was, it was something like a short romance. It wasn't to be for very long. It wasn't a long lasting romance. Um, and so now you're moving on from that. Um, and I know that some of y'all are like, that's not my situation. Okay. So that was just the first message that came out and it was the one I saw right away. Y'all know if I can't get all these messages out, it's going to drive me crazy. And then I can't get 
your message is out at all. So we have the King of Pentacles, the King of Swords, and also the Page of Cups here, as well as the Six of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Okay, and then there's also the fact, like I said, you were spending some time alone, contemplating, meditating, focused really on your financial stability and staying focused on that. Maybe some of you are single parents um, or you just didn't have a lot of time for love. There was flirting. There were maybe a couple of dates here and there, but nothing too serious in the past for you. Um, moving on from that, you know, things are happening pretty fast after you've... Also, there's something about you were spending the time to figure out what it was that you really wanted out of life. Um, maybe like, this is what I want to do when I retire or something of that nature and making a plan for yourself. And it, it had a lot of inspiration and your whole heart is in it. And that's where you're moving towards with that six of swords as well. So let's go ahead and clarify the chariot. Where you're currently at right now. Okay, those of you that were hiding a, I'm not saying you were keeping it a secret. I feel like you were just keeping it something. And I don't know how far in your past this was because in your current situation, this person that we're going to start here first, the person that you had a relationship with that you kept quiet for your own reasons um, is showing up quickly in your present and it's very unhealthy and this person you feel like they're obsessively pursuing you um, like because they want what you two had in the past and you two have history and memories and y'all are married now or you know you're not like you're your beliefs are in a different direction. It's not towards this person here. Um, and so that to you is like, what the heck do I do? You keep moving forward. It's It looks like it kind of transitions in the immediate future. So don't worry, Pisces. Don't stress yourself out too much about that. Okay, because I do see like getting through these rough waters and things just you know, calming down and where are they heading? Well, let's take a look at that. We'll see, you know, but right now in the current situation with this chariot where things are happening, um, really fast or this person showing up or something like that, um, it's, it's not what you want. It's not what you're looking for. Um, and then if it's not a person that you're dealing with, like this situation in the past that I was telling you about where it was, you know, same gender, y'all just wanted, you wanted to keep it like, this is just me. I was experimenting and I'm good. Um, but <laughs> it's whatever, you know, but in your current situation with this chariot right here, um, where you're heading and things happening really fast for you, I do see your commitment being in success like it was in the past towards money, towards, you know, following your heart. And that's really where, um, your tradition lies. Like that tells me that, Maybe your parents worked really hard, so you work really hard. You're following in their footsteps of how hard they work or something like that, you know, because that Hierophant is about like listening to a wise person or following in tradition or, you know, being the leader in something, but your focus is really on this is where things are heading for me. Um, there could also be just be prepared for that person from the past to show up and it's somebody that you didn't really have a good relationship with. It was nothing that was ever going to sustain into a relationship. It was just something that was going to be fun and short-lived. Um, so let's go ahead and clarify the six of swords for your immediate future here. All right, so the Six of Swords is clarified by the Four of Pentacles Justice card, Three of Cups, and the Four of Cups at the bottom 
of the deck. Some of you do have a stalker. You have somebody who, as you move on, this person can't let you go. So they want answers. They want the truth. They need to know if you're going to like, can we please, you know, give this another chance. And, um, I'm, I feel like some of y'all might have to get a restraining order because this person keeps trying to come back and reconcile. And you've already made it clear to them that you're not interested. You don't want this anymore. Or, you know, you've moved on from this. You've tried to do everything that you can. So, um, um, I feel like with that queen of cups, as, as your advice is saying, follow your heart and your instincts and, you know, listen to your intuition, um, especially about someone who continually, continuously does this, even if it's not of the same gender or whatever, like maybe you're both very ambitious people, you know, hard workers. One of you is more about material things. The other one's just like, I'm saving all my money until like the end where I can buy a mansion or something, you know, whatever, but it just didn't work. It was a short fling. Um, and I see like you trying to move forward here and, um, you've invested so much into, um, yourself and that doing the right thing. There's also, if this has nothing to do with another person where you're moving forward out of this, you know, situation here, um, in your current situation, you're moving forward to things smoothing out and feeling like you can invest more, um, into balancing things out, collaborating with more people, having new relationships. It does feel like there are some people that want to go out with you, maybe date you or some of something like that, but you might not be looking for, you know, dating anybody at the moment, um, Pisces now. And, and I do, I do see that reconciliation from somebody. Like I said, as you move forward, somebody's like, Hey, I want to, you know, give this another chance. Can we, can we talk? And you're like, Nope, Nope. <laughs> so, um, but new relationships here, nonetheless, I do see friendships here and, you know, it's making things feel really balanced and like, this is where I feel better. This is, you know, this is where I'm more myself. So let's go ahead and clarify the queen of cups for your advice. Yeah. Trust yourself. Um, also trust your heart when it comes to, um, your wish fulfillments, having faith in situations, <clears throat> um, you need to reevaluate some relationships or some things that are very ungrounded that feel like they cause a lot of pain. Um, and those things are, you know, you're being asked to heal those things that have caused a lot of pain as well in your life. If you've already gone through something like this. So we have the star, we have the seven of pentacles in reverse and the three of swords that comes out as clarification for that queen of cups. And then at the bottom of the deck, the queen of cups. <laughs> so, you know, your advice here, trust yourself, follow your heart, trust your intuition. Um, it's okay to heal, ground yourself in certain things, reevaluate what didn't work out and what felt very painful. Um, heal that it's okay. Um, also fresh new starts here. I like this with where things are heading with this fool. Um, card right here with a fresh new start, new beginning, if you take a leap of faith, but let's go ahead and clarify that as your outcome. Okay, there's something in this full um, card energy that's saying that in your outcome, the hermit, the three of wands, the seven of wands, and then the, the four of cups, that taking some leap of faith, there's something about um, having to look at waiting for certain ships to come in, stand your ground here, because, you know, it might feel like there's this like stagnation, like something's not happening as fast as you want it to. So don't change things quickly with whatever this is. If you're going after something, don't be like, oh, well, it's not working within a week. So I'm going to change my mind. Um, but there's, you know, a fresh new start here also to explore like some wisdom about where life is taking you. Um, the three of 
you know, the three of wands of looking towards the future and your ships coming in and standing up for yourself. There's a huge change here. This is where things are progressing and you're going to change your mind about particular relationships. There's also the fact of you, things are progressing towards a fresh new start for you and you protecting yourself from this person that you don't want to be with anymore as well, where you're like, no, I don't want a past relationship. They need to leave me alone or it doesn't even feel like a relationship because it just feels like it was a short-lived romance um and just yeah be careful of it pisces at this person they're coming back to be like oh my gosh i really want you and i'm gonna follow you till the end of time and you're like no um no it's not working out and also there's something about if you haven't told this person yet that you don't want to see them anymore you don't want to be with them your advice is also saying follow your heart and trust yourself don't wait to to break their heart later or prolong it because that's where they're going to be confused and they're going to think well why did you wait so long so you must have loved me more than you you're saying you do because sometimes people do things because they're like i just didn't have the, the right way to say it and you know some people have the right way to say it some people don't and so um, people can't expect everybody to be the same because we're not, we're different in different ways. So anyways, let's get some Oracle messages for you, Pisces. All right. You have three messages that came out and the first one is going to be release. You're being asked to release any toxic people or situations from your life. You deserve to be free of all drama. And this is is the first step to achieving that. I love this. And that is that change, that transition. I love that, um, you know, putting that behind you um, and moving forward. Like, I'm not going to let go of where things are going for me, which feels balanced. It feels like a celebration and excited for what's to come, right? And change comes out. You're being asked to change a part of yourself that no longer feels like the person you become or are becoming. Change isn't always easy, but letting go of this outdated part of yourself will allow you to align with your true self. All right, and lastly, we have miracles. It says you're being asked to pay extra close attention to all the big and small miracles that have already occurred in your life and also to those that are currently occurring and are still to come. Miracles surround you. Be on the lookout for them. All right, Pisces, this is what I have for you. If it resonates, go ahead and hit that like button. I will see you in your next reading coming up. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.